Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, before I get into my um, um, what I wanted to show y'all, my bedroom and the home goods I bought for my bedroom. Before I get into that, I wanted to give y'all some advice on um, living in NYCHA, what you can do um, if you move into NYCHA or if you are already in NYCHA. So, um, the first thing I did when I moved into NYCHA was I covered up all of my holes. I covered up all my holes with silicone and this ready patch I used. If the holes are are a little bit bigger i put aluminum for you i mean not aluminum um aluminum patch on it is not aluminum for you it's a it's called aluminum patch it's for plastering is for pla plastering purposes um for big bigger holes so i put that on um the holes if they're a little bit too big for the plastering job to do i put that on top so I covered up all my um, holes, my pipe, I sealed it with silicone, my radiator, I covered it up at the bottom, only at the bottom, and around the edges. So I did that. Um, I was just moving in, so I suggest if you are there, um, so I didn't have any stuff. I didn't have any furniture or anything to bring into the apartment. so. Um, if you have any furniture or any clothes, I suggest, or any home goods, I suggest you put them up. I suggest you put them in bags or in bins. Tape the bin real good. Tape, tie the bag up real good. Tape the bag up real good so no insects will go inside the bin or the bag. So, um, after I, um, well, like I said, I didn't have any furniture, so I didn't have to do that. But if you have to do that, you can. Um, after that, I went to Home Depot. I purchased foggers. Um, the foggers come with three in the box. I use two foggers in each room and one fogger and inside of the closets and inside of the cabinets. It says not to use the foggers inside of the cabinets and inside the closet, but I use the foggers. I use my foggers inside of the cabinets and inside of the, the closets. They also says on the box not to um, close your doors or any of that. I closed all my doors with the foggers I let loose. So I said I put one fogger in each closet and one fogger in each cabinet and two foggers in each room in the middle of the floor. Um, when you let the foggers loose, you have to unplug um, your oven. The oven unplugs, you can unplug your oven yourself. Um, so you um, have to unplug um, all your outlets, your oven. You can keep your refrigerator on, um, plugged in. Everything else take out, unplug. After you unplug, you cannot be in the area that you let the fogger loose for eight hours. So in your apartment, so you cannot be in there. So you have to give yourself eight hours to not to be in your apartment when you let the fogger loose. So you could go run, do errands um, within the eight hours. When you come back from doing errands in the eight hours, you open up all of your windows and um yeah oh um yeah before um i didn't i forgot to say you also silicone your inside of your closets you cover up everything when i say everything inside of cabinets everything you put silicone on it insects go in all holes and everything so yes I didn't really have any insects when I came back because, like I said, I covered up everything. So they probably, yeah, I covered up everything. So 
Yeah, I didn't have any insects. So um, when you come back, you open, after you come back for the eight hours, you open up your windows because the um, smell will be still be in your house. You get up the insects that you see, if you see any insects. Um, after you do that, I suggest you get um, a ray, a ray gel from off of Amazon. I got the clear, the clear color because I didn't, the clear color does not show. I put the clear color all around my doors, the outside of my doors, my cabinets, anywhere that I felt necessary to do so. Um, it was red, so yes, it's clear. They have them in other colors, but I rather clear so you cannot see it. Um, I also purchased um, the raid I purchased from Amazon. Everything I purchased, I'm gonna put in the descriptions below. Um, I also purchased a door draft stopper for under my front door. I, this cost, it cost $20. I bought this for $20 on, on, on Amazon. Um, I bought this for 20. They have other, other, um, kinds for cheaper, but I got this for 20 because this fits. I can make this any size to fit under my door. Um, it shows you on the box how to use it and how you can make it any size to fit under your door. So I purchased this one because I rather this one. I also purchased, um, I forgot the name of this, but I'm gonna put this in the descriptions below too as well. Um, I put this around my door. I opened up my door and put it around the trim of the door, like this on the door. It sticks, this yellow part you could peel to stick it so nothing won't creep inside the inside of my door. Also did that. Um, so like I was saying about the ready patch, um, for big holes, I did not use my ready patch. I called, um, housing maintenance um i called the 718-707-7771 number i put in um a ticket when you put in tickets um you will have to put in tickets for um every closet every hole every crack every bubble i understand that is um a headache but it is worth it when you put those tickets in um, I put in tickets. Um, I did not use the ready patch. I put in tickets because um, NYCHA, they use um, some other stuff on their walls. They use plaster, um, base, water, and sand. Three things that they use um, on the walls and they mix it together. Before they use it on the walls, they mix it. So um, I'd rather not had buy, you could buy it from Home Depot, but um, instead of buying it, I chose a cheaper route for NYCHA to do it. I called the 718 number. I put in tickets for NYCHA to do it. Um, it's cheaper for you to do it that way instead of buying it, and it's, it's, it's way cheaper. So like I said, I know it's a hassle, but it's worth it. So you have to, if you, whatever, if it's for your closet, if it's a bubble, crack, mold, you will have, you will have mildew, you will have to put a ticket in for that. I know it's a headache, but it's definitely worth it. When you put in a ticket for that, um, they come, the maintenance people come, they verify that ticket to make sure you need plaster in. They'll come as many times as you call for that, but to make a ticket. So say for instance, you made five tickets, they will come five times to verify that you need plastering. When, after they come and verify that you need plastering, they give you another ticket. On the ticket, you will have to wait for the contractors to give you a call. Um, I say call the number that's on the ticket to harass them. So the contrast tr tractors could come way much faster. Um, just harass them as your apartment, you can. So when the contractors come, they do a good job, it's worth it, like I said. So um, 
I seen another, I seen something about um, backsplash in the comments. Um, the reason why I did not put backsplash on my walls is because I would like to monitor my walls. Um, behind the, the pipes inside the nitro walls are not, not good. I don't think they have gotten to them or fixed them or whatever. So they be having problems. So I'd rather monitor my walls. And if I put something on there, I don't want it to mess up. So I, I try not to put too much stuff on the walls where I can't take it off and see my wall. But if you would like to put back, backsplash on your wall, you can. Um, but I chose not to. Like I said, I wanted to monitor my walls. So, um, yeah, these are some of the things that I did before I moved into my apartment. You can you can do do these things too. It's not it's very cheap. It's not that much. Um, but now we're gonna get into my video of my bedroom. I'm giving y'all a bedroom tour of my bedroom. I didn't buy a lot of home goods. I'm gonna um, buy home goods and then I'm gonna do another video which um, showing you the home goods store I go to. It doesn't have to be Target or Walmart. It's way cheaper home goods stores out here that aren't Target or Walmart. It's way cheaper. So I'm gonna take you to a home goods store that's cheaper than and they have so and they have good good products. Um, so yeah. Okay, I'm about to start the bedroom tour. You see the doors is um looks similar to the floor that's why i didn't paint the door this is my bed i bought my bed from ashley furnitures is a set the set with my dresses i got my dresses from ashley furnitures as well The candles I got from Bath and Body Works. They have sales here and there, candles and other items. My Insta camera I got off of Amazon. The candle light, the candle holder. I said candle light because this is a fake candle. I got this off of Amazon and the candle holder off of Amazon as well. It goes with my lamp. I got my lamp from Amazon as well. My pillows are so soft. I got my pillows from Ashley Furnitures. They are called bamboo pillows. Very soft and comfortable. My curtain rod I got off of Amazon. They have other colors for a good price. Curtains I got off of Amazon. Very good price. The mirror. I put up myself. It's supposed to go with this dresser. I also got my dresser from Ashley Furnitures. TV is an LG TV. I think it's a um, 75 inch or 65 inch. And I purchased this from Best Buy. Black Friday sales. They have great sales for TVs on those days. My fake candle also purchased from Amazon. This, it goes with my... Um, my lamp and my candle holder. I purchased this from off of Amazon as well. 
Another candle holder, a smaller version. I purchased that from off of Amazon. I got my garbage pal. I purchased from Amazon. It came with my bigger one that I have in the kitchen that I put in the kitchen. Purchased that from Amazon to sell. The closet I made myself, I put this piece here and I put this in every door entrance. I made it myself, I bought that from Home Depot and I cut it and I put that in front of all the door entrances and the closets. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned for my next video. I'm going to show you um, another video when I buy my home goods. So stay tuned for that. And I have more to come. If you have any questions, any comments, you can put below. I'm going to leave every, write everything in the descriptions below for you guys. Thank you for watching.